Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. We had a crazy hunt, lots of memories, and again, it's not about the individual hunter. It's about the family, the group, making it all happen, working in unison, and that's what you get here. Gonna be late, Ralph. Welcome to this week's The Choice of This Week. Well, it's still Northwest of British Columbia, Vancouver Island, Trophy West, Vicki and Ralph seriously hunting massive black bears. How was that, like, really into it? Was it dramatic? Was it... Yeah, you're, you're dramatic, yeah. You know, we are having a great trip up there, and are you just trying to become more dramatic? Is that what the idea is? And now... And now we'll continue on our hunt with Glenn Venus, Jeff Venus, and Ken. Who's Ken Black Ken? Ken. Ralph and I each have two bear tags up here at Trophy West, and what we decided before we headed up is we we're each going to try taking one with our new crossbows, our new Browning crossbows, and we we're each going to try to take one with a Browning Expert rifle. I have my crossbow tag filled, Ralph has his rifle tag filled, so depending on the bears, the location, and how they're working will depend on who's up next, whether it's Ralph or I. You know, every time, every year we, we're up there, we, we, you start, you see sign of grizzly. Right. At, but these past few years, we're, we're seeing... seeing a lot more, more grizzlies. And more grizzlies. Right, and we can't hunt them no. because they have very strict tag well, regulations yep. and everything, and it doesn't Glenn matter. has his grizzly hunt. That's I mean, right. Yep, but yep. oh, they're but such I mean, a cool We're crowd. on our way to fill up the boat, and yeah. we see a sow with cubs. I mean, amazing and beautiful, and we just took it all in. The scenics. Breathtaking. Have you ever noticed he has to make the last comment? I'm just asking. <laughs> Typical day on the boat hunt is we hunt the tide, so we're we're going to hunt a low tide because the beach is showing. It's full of crabs, barnacles, and stuff that the bears come out and feed on. So those are the tides that we're going to go and hunt, and they'll come out, wake up, come out, and eat on these crabs, roll rocks. You'll see them rolling ra rocks and taking all these crabs in. They'll feed on the popweed that shows as the tide goes down. Um, worms, sea worms under the rocks, rock crabs. There's numerous things that they subsidize their uh, diet with other than grass. You know what's really cool? What? Is like out in the middle of nowhere in the straits between Vancouver Island and BC mainland, there's this little gas station to fill up everyone's boats. Yes. It's just really cool. I mean, you can see these starfish and all kinds of stuff along the dock. And I mean, it looks like it's been there forever, doesn't it? Like, there's gas stations. Like, when you're driving your truck, there's gas stations. Yeah, but this is in the water. It's the boat. It's everything. It's part of the experience. Going to the gas station. The crew has gas in the tank. And now it's time to cruise the shoreline looking for Big Bruin. And it's not long before they spot a good bear. Going around looking for bears and all of a sudden Jeff spots one. He says, there's a bear and it's a good one. So, you know, as we're in the cab of the boat trying to figure out who's going to go up there, like it's going to be rifle. So I'm like, it's me, it's my turn. We just spotted a bear on the shore. We're going to, we're trying to figure out how we're going to get in on it. I'm going to take my Browning X-Bolt. 300 to win and go maybe put a stock on them. As soon as they say yes or no, they're trying to figure them out right now. The train is so steep that we're going to try and get to that point right there and just edge over and shoot from there. That's about all, all we can do. So we're going to get ourselves ready here. And Jeffrey, you want to take over? We just spotted a bear on the shoreline up here. Just rolling over rocks and stuff like that and trying to find some crustaceans for him to eat. We're trying to find the best place to get out to go ahead and do this with our wind coming this way. We can't get off where it's a little more yep, shallow and not as steep. So this is so straight and up and down here. I don't know how we're gonna do this one.
just spotted a bear on the shoreline up here. Just rolling over rocks and stuff like that and trying to find some crustaceans for him to eat. We're trying to find the best place to get out to go ahead and do this with our wind coming this way. We can't get off where it's a little more shallow and not as steep. This is so straight and up and down here. I don't know how we're going to do this one. It's like a cliff with barnacles on there, and that's the only option we really have. We have to hope that our, as we're climbing on this cliff with the barnacles, that we don't slide into the into the water. I want to try and get us up on there. Okay. We saw a good bear right on the beach, but there's nowhere to get on him, so we had to be we had to get dropped off here, and we're hiking up now. The tide is low, it's about noon. I mean, the tides are really strange this year. It's about noon and we're climbing off because it's low tide on this rock ledge. We got to a point where we walked around and Ken said, Vic, you're gonna have to take him from here. He's 120 yards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this edge is so steep and it's so unlevel. I mean, even trying to set up my bog pod, look at the different length in the thing just to, to go ahead and try to get a level shot. I tried standing out here. It's too unlevel for me to stand still. I needed, I needed my big booty to lean up against these rocks to give me that extra point of reference. I made a good shot. I feel comfortable with it and we went around. We're gonna go see up here at Trophy West. I need to close this back up though because I'm gonna fall on my face with this and I need my leg to stop shaking just a little bit more before I start trying to hike up and down on these rocks because I'm gonna fall on my face. Oh my gosh. Well, once again, we're up here at Trophy West Outfit, Guides and Outfitters in BC and we're on the boat hunt. And it, I mean, seriously, it can't get better than this. I hate that saying, but this is a beautiful bear midday, noon time, out on the beaches because the tide's out. Yeah. And I mean, they're just, they're looking, they're pulling rocks over, looking for food to eat. And it, this hunt really depends on tides, doesn't it? Yeah, we got this one low tide today and um, 12 o'clock and look who's out turning rocks. Look yeah, I can't even believe it, you know, and, and we got off on the steep bank there, try to come around, try to get set up. It wasn't the easiest way to do it, but shooting off a cliff, basically. Shooting off of a cliff and it worked and he is just an amazing, I mean, this is just a big old black bear and you guys, you guys just rock. I mean, this is just, <laughs> this is like our favorite destination bear hunt is right here. It's right here, Vancouver Island with Trophy West and, you know, Ken and Jeff and Glenn too. And of course, Ralphie, even though all he has to do is hold my boat. <laughs> Ralph is upset because, yeah, he's upset because I shot a big bear. Now, Ralph does have like two and a half days to fill one tag yet, so he still has a chance to beat me. But we won't let them, will we? Uh, no, we'll put him on the first bear we see. And I'm gonna. <laughs> Thank you guys again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I know we got to get this bear out of here. Tide's coming in, we need to get the boat gone. And Jeff, I'm gonna try not to kill myself on barnacles to come give you a hug. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Amazing Excellent. bear, amazing. You know, today started out like every other day. I mean, have a little something to eat on the knit-nat, load up the inlet grizzly, except Glenn's in camp. And we know we're gonna have some fun. Wow. Hey Glenn, here's to you. Glenn, here's to you. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> You've got my cup. Hold it a second. You've got my special cup. I can't believe he's here. 
Stewart. For a few days, and he's got Shelly. I, I have Shelly. Shelly Oh, my God. <laughs> no, do you let him have my cup? I had no oh part of it. Oh, my goodness. He was I slip off me. the ship for a couple of days, and look what happened. First I seen him. Oh, my God. Your ship God. sunk. Mine's up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, yours is up. Obviously, yours is up. Oh, my God. That's nice. Heading out, we were actually going to go up to a, a spot that we've we've hunted and had a lot of success with in the past. And as we're heading up, you know, we, we just checked, as usual, one of the coves, and there's a bear. And I mean a good bear. So we, everything was going good. You know, we, we got out. We, we started to make our move. And if you see those bears when they first come out, you got you got a decent amount of time. When you see those bears and they, they've been feeding for a while and you don't know how long, a big percentage of chances they're gonna feed by the time you get in there, and that's what just happened. That bear fed back in, and we hiked back. Kenny and, and Jeff got a call from Glenn and said, listen, I, get, we, I, I see another bear, but I think we got a grizzly on the shore too. A grizzly. So I'm like, oh yeah, so boom, it didn't take long. We, we get to where those guys are, and we could see for sure there's a grizz out there, and it looks like a, you know, a younger boar, but he's out there, and Way to the back side of him, down as the cove curved, is a monster black bear. Looks like a good black bear. The guy spotted a black bear and a grizzly. So we get to studying this monster black bear and we realize, whoa, yeah, this could be the biggest one of the trip. So, man, I'm pumped. We have one slight stipulation. That stipulation is we have a grizzly in the way. Now, what do you do when you have a grizzly in the way of your stalk? <laughs> you let that bear do whatever it wants to do. We're gonna get off on the uh, shore right here, stay on the high side, we gotta chase that grizzly bear off, and then work around the corner, and hopefully we'll have enough cover to uh, um, make a stalk on that black bear. He looks like a really good black bear. He's a nice, nice big bear. And what we did is we just figured we're gonna try and just keep with the wind in our favor. We're gonna just slowly push. We're gonna let him see us. And the, you know, the, the highest probable thing is that's gonna happen is he's just gonna run back into the bush. And lo and behold, we got a little bit closer through a couple of rocks. We could still see that big old monster black bear out there still feeding with the tide out. And we realized this, this, this still can happen. Well, the grizz looks up and he, they take that posture like they always do. Look. He just scampered right back in the timber, and I mean, game on. The black bear started to feed up, and he's starting to head back in. Just like I told you before, that's what we run into. Well, that bear finally hit the, hit the creek that's coming out off the land, and he went up in. And all of a sudden, another big boar walks out to where that big black was, way down on the coast. He comes in, we start cutting the distance, and we realize that we're out of play. There's not much we can do in making this opportunity. We have to maybe give this bear a chance to maybe make the opportunity come to us. So we all hunkered down. I laid flat down. I got my browning crossbow up on a little bit of a log. I'm trying to slowly and quietly crack brush, and I'm watching this bear. I could see him before I, I laid down, and now I, when I got completely low down, I was out of vision. So I had to rely on Ken and Jeff and Vicky and everybody letting me know what was happening. And I'm gonna tell you, 
that's, that'll, that'll drive you crazy. Because if you're a hunter, you want to see what's happening. You want to get more mentally, and you know, you want to get that psychological preparedness. Well, Kenny tells me, he says, if he comes around this big log, he's 40 yards out. Well, I can't see the log. And all of a sudden, I feel the tap on my leg. And Kenny's whispering, he's saying, 40, 35, 30, 25. And next thing I know, I could see the ear and just part of his the, the top of his head. I'm realizing I'm not going to have a great opportunity. So I'm, you know, I'm trying to figure out and little panics setting in and I'm like, how close, this bear's going to be close. And all of a sudden I can see him. I, I'm following him as best as I could from the ground. And I saw my window of opportunity at less than 20 yards. Bears turns, he's just coming. He brings that left leg out. I held and I just squeezed that trigger. And that, I mean, that, that arrow zipped right through that new NAP Spitfire double cross. I mean, blew right through him. We were just getting on the blood trail. I mean, just getting on it. And the bear's dead right here. He's down. Spitfire double cross, baby. <laughs> Come here, brother. <laughs> awesome. Just to make a point, you see that what we did here is before we even moved anything, you punched your tag. Because a lot of times when you're traveling and you're hunting a different area, whether it's a different province, the reality of it is you may not be familiar with all the rules and regs, but your good guides are. How do you wrap up a hunt like this? I mean, literally, we've, we've been so blessed to, to have this happen. Three and, and a half days. Three and a half days. Tagged out. Tagged, tagged out. out. We've each shot one with our Browning crossbows. We've each shot one with a 300 win mag. I mean, we've shot, we have filled a tag a day, which is not a normal. No, 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 no right? I mean, no, it's no it doesn't. It just things came, and, and we're actually, you know, again, you all know where we're at, Trophy West. I mean, but, but is this the last boat hunt? This, yes. Okay, because it's it, this is the fourth week. Yes. And now, because a lot of the bears are, the transition is happening, they're going to go back, they're going. The beaches and onto land. Onto land. So, berries are starting to ripen. They'll go up in the growing. sloshes, grass. Fireweed, their main source yeah. of food is, is, is willow buds. Sure. So now the bear, so now the hunt moves from the water to the land. And, and I mean, that's why these guys are so successful. And we had an ultimate, I mean, we had a crazy, crazy hunt. Lots of memories. And again, this all boils down to it, it's not about the individual hunter, no. it's about the family, the group making it all happen, working in unison, and, and that's what you get here. And that's, that's why this has been, what, 12 seasons or something crazy? We will have to have some celebration this evening, I'm sure. Oh, we're, yeah. We're, we're little, tagged out. Little name that tune. <laughs> little name Na that tune this evening. No, knit nat name, right? Uh -huh. no, what? Name that, name, knit nat name that. Tune. Name that tune. I think, that's, I think, right. I think you'll see the knit knot shuffle tonight. Yeah, yeah you're gonna, you might see the shuffle. We, we might. I don't know. Even with all of us on our bad knees, there might be a little, uh, a little boogie oogie woogie. Uh -huh. This is amazing, and you know what? It's all because the good Lord above has blessed us with this opportunity. This is just yes, phenomenal. Phenomenal, amazing. And thank you, Ralph and Vicky. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's, it yeah. Thank you, guys. Unfo and unfortunately, we didn't have you guys last year due to some circumstances. Yeah, yeah. So me. This makes it even that much more. It's, yes, sir. You know what? You're Right. Yeah. It's, it's great to be back. Yep, it's great to be back. Congratulations, honey. Thank you. You too. I mean, Thank you. again, it's not it's not just about going up there and getting your parents. No. It's it's the whole thing. It's the whole It's the camaraderie. It's everyone up there. We had such a great time. It's experiencing everything. It is. It's, it's I mean, we go up there and we're just like old friends forever and that's just the way they are up there. I mean, everyone up there at Trophy West is just amazing and you know, I mean, it's the whole thing. It's not just the hunting, like you said. I mean, we had an amazing hunting trip. It. The tide was just amazing on this trip because, I mean, we tagged out on four bears in four days. Yeah, that was. That's not a normal trip. No, no. That's not. I mean, normally normal. we do well. It's just that, just the way the tide ended up going just, when we were there. It, it just was everything. crazy, and you know what? And Glenn, it was Glenn was he, he had to be at the main lodge, right? And it was killing him. Huh? Yeah, so he had to come out for the last two days or day and a half of the hunt, which we tagged out then. I mean, I mean it was bam, we yeah. were done. So hey, guys, everyone up at Trophy West, thank you so much for having so much. us up there, and thank you guys for watching this week. We hope you make your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.